And you'll be able to see that Fort Recovery North Catholic game on WOSN starting Friday morning. And there'll be several replays of it throughout the day on Friday. Well, moving on to Division Two now, the Defiance Bulldogs are one win away from their fifth trip to the state baseball tournament after yesterday's win over Bath, a game you saw on WOSN. Tom Held's team facing Bellevue in tonight's final. Redmond have come a long way since winning their first ever baseball tournament game in 1977 when our own Mark Shine was the varsity baseball coach, a responsibility that came along with coaching the JV basketball team. Defiance going with Michael Hendricks on the mound today. Future Miami Red Hawk would give Defiance a solid effort. Bottom of the second, no score. Gage Cordray, line drive into left center. One hop to the fence, good for a leadoff double. The catcher would later score on a balk. Later in the second, it's 1-0, a man on third for Defiance. Bryce Borton, chopper, gets into left field. Jimmy Bauer scores, makes it 2-0, Defiance. Bulldogs would load the bases for Wes Detter. Grounds to short. Bellevue gets one out, but Borton scores. It's 3-0. Bulldogs would add another run on a double steal, up 4-0 after two. Go to the top of the fourth now. Bellevue, man on second with no outs. Jake Strayer, grounder fall, but it hits the cut of the grass, rolls back fair. Alertly, Garrett Sierra throws the runner out, and Defiance would escape unscathed. In the home half of the fourth, Bulldogs looking to add to that lead. Man on second for two outs. Braden Frederick base it into right. Bauer trying to score from second, but Redmond Clay frees with a rope from right. He is out at the plate. Go to the bottom of the fifth, still 4 nothing. Not anymore. Sierra pulls the offering down the left field line. Solo home run, his second round tripper of the season for the Bulldogs at leading hitter. It's 5 0 defiance. They would add another run on a sacrifice fly in the fifth. Go to the sixth inning. Man on third with no outs. Frederick delivers again. Double plates Borton, and it's 7 0 Bulldogs. After a strikeout, pinch hitter Alec Rivers comes through. Another RBI double. Frederick makes it 8 0 defiance after six innings of play, and that's more than enough for Hendricks. He goes the distance, strikes out five, only allows two hits in the 8 0 shutout, and defiance after a one year absence back to the state baseball tournament just two months after winning the state basketball title. We had canceled opening day because we were down in Columbus that state championship, and, and I tell you what, uh, that has a piece of it because our, our guys obviously uh, witnessed the 2013 team, but our seniors and our and our baseball guys uh, were in that front row of Kirk's Crazies cheering on that basketball team that whole tournament run, and and they saw the fun and all the attention the community gave them, and and still get, getting, and I think they want a piece of that as well, and and uh, they've really they've really played good baseball here the last two weeks. It feels amazing, you know. This is one of the things we've been dreaming about our whole lives, you know, going back to state. Then the 13, we're going to try to do it again now. Yeah, I, I thought I had my really good stuff. Uh, my fastball was there, my changeup was really good, and uh, I got a lot of my outs on that changeup, so I like my stuff today. I'm really proud of Michael Hendricks, and, and uh, you know, he's had a great senior year for us. He's going on to pitch at Miami. We've known what kind of stuff he's had for a couple years, and he's really put a, put a good senior year together, and it was really neat for him to have the, the opportunity to pitch in that regional championship game and get a W today, especially a shutout. And, and uh, uh, I just couldn't be proud of him. So the Bulldogs will be in Columbus. They will take on Sunbury Big Walnut, who beat Steubenville 10-4 today. That defines Big Walnut game will be the second game Friday, the 1 o'clock start at Huntington Park.